Are you done with not knowing how to pose? Do you hate being hot in your fabulous dresses? Scared of ruining your look with unfashionable props? We now have the perfect solution for you. Hand-painted fans. You can use these as an accessory for historical clothing, you can hang them up on your wall, or you can use them for their intended purpose, aka fanning yourself when it gets too hot. Hi everyone, this is Empress Lucy and as requested by my sister, I'm going to show you how to paint your own fan. This should be a relatively easy project, you do not need to sew anything and you probably already have a lot of the materials on hand. So, to make your fan, you will need a base fan made out of wood. Just rip off the fabric or paper on a board fan. You can get these really cheap for about one or two euros. A piece of fabric in your desired color. I recommend using a light color like yellow so that the paint shows up well. Paint brushes, acrylic or fabric paint and a water soluble marker. First, you need to draw your pattern out. Use the fabric of the base fan as a pattern and copy the shape to tracing paper, then draw the design for your fan on the paper. I recommend looking up examples of historical fans online to get some ideas. I used these two pictures as references for the fan I am making. Once you are happy with it, cut the pattern shape out of the fabric you want to paint, in this case silk taffeta. You will want to seal the edges of the fabric by putting a very thin line of fabric glue on it, otherwise it will fray. Now you can copy your design to the fabric with the water soluble marker and start to paint your design on the fabric. This works best with a thin brush and take your time, this is definitely the most important part of the process. Once you are satisfied with your painting, mark the folding lines on the fan with the same marker you used earlier and iron them in one by one. If you want to paint the wood base another colour, you should do it now. Finally, glue your fabric to the fan base along the folding lines and finished! You can now be proud of your work or if you want to customize your fan further, you can add a tassel at the end to glamorously dangle from your hand. Hi, this is me again. A big thank you to my sister for showing us how she makes these gorgeous fans. I thought this would be an interesting tutorial to make because it's very easy, very beginner friendly. You need to have basically no sewing knowledge to make one. Uh, it's all about the painting part. I recently got this fan book at a flea market in Amsterdam for about two euros, so it was really cheap. And what I learned so far was that fans were often painted to commemorate specific occasions, which I think is really cool because you can see them as paintings or trophies in a way. They're not just fashionable accessories, although it's great to have a fashionable accessory, I guess. But I just think it gives it more of a personality. Lucy also wants me to let you know that these two ladies in the middle are lesbians on a picnic, so that is that. As always, thank you for watching and extra thanks to the people who commented last time. You guys really made my day with the photography video. Now that I'm finally done editing, I will try to catch up on some Crocovid videos and panels. Oh yeah, the panels and I'm gonna take a big fat shower. <laughs> Anyways, if you make a fan with this tutorial, I would love to see it. So tag me on Instagram or something. You can also tag Lucy, her Instagram is at Empress Lucy. Who would have thought? Okay, bye! Oh, mate, my hair's so crazy. Disgusting.